Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today uh, we're starting a, a new project and uh, a customer brought in a Milwaukee 90 degree gear motor and uh, he also brought in a quarter inch key uh, um, Woodruff key cutter. Um, there's a couple other names for it but basically that's what these, uh, these are. Now what he really wants me to do is create a jig that will attach this to a in place rudder post two inch diameter and he's putting it in an autopilot now they don't want to haul this boat out pull the rudder out bring it in here let me set it up in one of my machines which I can cut the key away probably in an hour at the most there's a story that goes along with why they can't, but that's not the that's not the point. The point is is here's what the customer wants, and here's how we're going about it. Okay, uh, I've got three parts here that I'll be cutting out. This is five eighths plate. We're going to be uh, cutting at eight inches a minute. I pre-drilled a pierce hole for the center uh, bore on this. Uh, there'll be three bores and then a three cutout shape so come along with it. The external pierce will be along this side right here. Come in, barely come down the side, go around the part. Okay, look how much how much uh, dross is actually on the back here, which is real surprising um, that this much will pile up. And, it, and I mean, it looked like it was blowing it right down in the plate, but you know, this uh, <laughs> this peels off pretty pretty fast, pretty easy. All right. And look how look how square and nice those cuts are. I have no complaints. A little little tiny bit of drifting because of how much heat and everything else we're causing, but <laughs> you know you can't ask for much better than that. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna be doing machining on all sides here. We're gonna be boring. It's gonna be split and it's gonna be drilled and tapped. Uh, you know, the, there's gonna be a lot going on here. But uh, getting them roughed out to this shape is pretty cool. Well, we're taking about 20,000 skim on all surfaces here to just make them all square. And this is our last surface right here. We've already kissed the ends with an end mill. And uh, we're using a two inch uh, face mill right now. And this is the last uh, surface right here. If it cleans up all the way, we don't need to take another pass. Uh, after that, we're gonna set it up and we're gonna go ahead and bore uh, two inch will be the finished bore. And then we'll uh, drill and tap and slit the bottom so it's a clamp feature. And then one of those uh, units gets a keyway in it. And then the other flat surface is for the next setup. All right, we're getting ready to uh, start boring this uh, diameter in here through the three of these all in consecutive move here. And uh, we set up all of our machine flat surfaces here, square. We toe clamped it with 5 8 uh, ground parallel uh, tool bits underneath here. Uh, so we got clearance uh, to pass through. This one here is back far enough from the edge so we're not going to cut it into it. And we're going to go ahead and, and machine this bore now. And uh, so here we go. Now I've eyeballed <clears throat> this bit to the bore because everything else is going to really relay, uh, locate off of this bore. Alright, we're down there just touching. We're going to engage the auto feed and we're going to give it just a little bit of a, a lubrication here. It's going to be just barely skipping where the start and stop of the pierce was over here throughout the whole three of them here. Probably going to take a couple passes before it cleans up all the way. Alright, this is the first cut where we're making a 100% sweep around. And I think we're going to be somewhere, oh, about 25 thousandths under the finished size. All right, uh, I, I moved the table out because I have a zero and I can come back to zero. So I moved it out of the way, got in there with my snap gauges and uh, and I was, uh, it's still set. So I was reading about 68 or so. So that left 32 thousandths uh, to go. These um, boring heads, the Critton's uh, boring heads are very accurate. And, um, and the dial back here is very accurate. And I went ahead and dialed in it right to the 32. So we're going to see, uh, ideally we want a couple thousands over the 2 inch nominal because we want this thing to be able to slide up and down. We're going to have a slot in here and you're going to be able to clamp this bore tighter. So what we're shooting for is a couple thousands over, but right now this should take us to 2 inch diameter. And you see we still have a, hol a couple hollow, it's pretty good clean cut over here, but I have a couple holidays on there. So I brought the table in relationship to zero, 10,000 is this way. So it's going to take a little bit more off of that side there and it should still clean up this side here. laid out and we're going to be bring in the hole down through here and our split line is going to be halfway in the center there and of course uh, we'll have enough threads to drop down below. We were going to put a quarter inch in there but I think we're going to go five sixteenths because of the length of tap we have and uh, you know we're going to be comfortable all around here so um, we got the uh, angle plate here butt end here this stands up straight we got this lined up 
and uh, just using my uh, tap follower again just to uh, get a good eyeball on center. Now we are going to center drill this and uh, get a nice start of a hole before anything here. We're going to have to increase some speed here. I cup them with my hand is I just I, I have windows here that are filthy enough and I just cup them there I'm pretty well callous but yeah you are right if you're blowing in the air and you're cupping your hand you could blow a chip right into your hand I think back back when I was in my 20s I had tender hands maybe uh, it, it would uh, pierce the skin then Two and a quarter inches here. All right, two and a quarter. All right, now we just want a uh, a clearance drill. We're going to drill down two to split, you know, imaginary split line that we got. We're going to go ahead and give a 64th clearance over the 516s here. Not trying to take too much. And uh, let's see here. We're going to set that zero here so we don't go too far. And uh, this was 440 or so, 450. So we're just going to figure, we're going to figure an uh, uh, inch and a half anyway. position so that uh, we don't we don't have a grab on the handle. It's pretty good control. There's an end. There's 200, 300, 400, 450, and a five. Give it a little bit of a chamfer. Just so the hole is clean. Alright, we have clearance. Alright, now we can just tap for our rest of our hole there. Now this hole or this tap here, I'm gonna get my tap handle. And I'm going to get a straight grip handle. You know, in my time earlier machine days, TRW makes some pretty cheap stuff. Uh, but I, I do have to say that they made this tap handle. And I've had this tap handle probably most of my career. Maybe I'm pretty close to 30 years here. You know, I've been in 37. Yeah, maybe 30, 33, 34 years. I like it because it's kind of rounded and smooth and it doesn't seem to be so squared off and never have a problem with the grip on the center uh, jaws here. Alright, now the key would be that this would actually screw all the way down with no problem. <laughs> 